Hello, this is a tutorial from Chubbubba 102696. Today I'm going to be doing a another it's another um grid-based tutorial movement where um it's like a Final Fantasy game, but in my last one I didn't have the walking sprites. So like it didn't walk, it just moved there. So this time I'm going to make it so the player walks. So you can need four sprites. Uh, e they each have four images in them to make it look like they're walking. I'm using 16 by 16 sprite images. You know, it's just of a player walking. So, down, left, right, and up. Just like that. And then, just a wall. And then two of these two objects. Player is solid. Make the solid the wall sprite. And it clicks solid. Okay, so first thing, let's just add the collision with the solid first. Each speed. zero and V speed equals zero. And then also add snap to grid. Mine's sixteen by sixteen, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, and the create put direction, but I'm just gonna put DIR equals quotations down. Now these have to be in quotations. That means that it's just a word and it's not a variable. So that's very important. Step. If align to 16 by 16 do this code. Can I copy and paste this basically? movement. If keyboard check VK up, take out this can move. This I copied this from one of my other games that uses can move. Um, but we're not that's not gonna be in this tutorial. Okay. Change all chains Y Vel to V speed. Xville to H speed. Okay. There, so then this this should be good. Yeah. Okay, so it do it only does this this is just the main movement. If keyboard check up, right, down, left, and if not checking anything, it makes you move. So like up makes you go negative to up. No, that negative two is up movement, and vice versa to all the rest. If you're not pressing any of them, then you stop moving. But it only does that if you're aligned to the grid. So this way, you use the less maximum um, drag and drop. You only use one. You only use two things total. Okay. So then, in the end step event. Oh wait. Go back to here. Keyboard check VK up. I'll also put in here the DIR equals right. No, sorry. Up. Since we're going up. And the same thing with the rest. This is going to set it up so that it will make the direction equal whatever direction you're going in so that when we use it in our sprite code we can we can just say if facing this direction turns it into this sprite and also put image speed equals zero put image speed equals zero and image index equals zero too 
So when you stop moving, you s your legs stop moving, and you go back to the first image of your sprite. Okay, then in the end step, if direction equals up, and I image, no, V speed is less than zero. So if you're going up, and your direction is up, then sprite index equals s player u image speed equals zero point three. Okay, and then just copy this. four times direction equals right left down v speed is greater than zero which means you're going down s player down s player left h speed is less than zero which means if you're going left right is r H speed greater than zero, which means you're going right. Okay, so then in the beginning, in create, also put image speed equals zero. And then, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Okay, this this might work. Um, put in your blocks and stuff and whatnot. And let's check if it works. Oops. Okay. Hey, look at that. Cool. Well, that was pretty, pretty easy. I guess that's really it. Okay, that this was a tutorial from Chubbubba102696. Hope you guys like it. Leave comments saying what I should improve on or change. Maybe I'll make it a follow-up tutorial on this. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.